everyone welcome back to the channel actually it's not morning it's afternoon I've only been trying to record since this morning and I've been having it's Monday okay um I'm Jen Jen aka Jennifer's I'm Jennifer aka Jen Jen's creations okay told you it's Monday um you guys can see I have a new setup uh camera wise I found an app that I can use to sync um, to my laptop that I can use to record uh, front this way where you guys can see me instead of me looking that way every time I talk to you on my split screen. And um, it's called IV Cam. It's an app. Now, I don't know if it's available on Android. I did not look, but um, I thought I'd try it and see. And so far, I seem to like it. Now, I, I will tell you, I will kind of go like that. Please don't. I'm still trying to get used to it. So, anyway, we're going to diamond paint. And we're going to whip and chat. And I'm going to go on a little tangent. Nothing bad. Nobody's in trouble. Nobody's done anything. There's no drama except my drama. Um, so... I've started my Supernatural, uh, started working on it again. I kind of boo-booed this morning. Okay. I was trying to set up the camera onto my ring light. You guys can see yeah, that that's where it's at. And it has a thing where you can use the iPad. The cell phone holder, iPad holder, whatever. Well, I tried that. Yeah. Well, um... <clears throat> Didn't work. Got it when I thought it was set up. Getting ready to record. And all of a sudden, it falls. It just comes off. And I was like, are you just like really, really, you know, I, when it fell, my coffee fell. Now, as you guys know, I drink coffee when I'm talking to you guys and so forth. Especially if my throat gets dry. And, yeah, it fell. Because I had moved my coffee out of the way and it fell onto the diamond painting. All my crystal canvas, crystal rhinestone diamond painting. So I got the coffee cleaned up off the, off the canvas. But I have to go through and clean off the diamonds, the rhinestones. Get all the coffee off of it and clean the, yeah... It was a mess, and I wasn't thrilled. I was like, are you, like, really, really shitting me right now? That's my exact words. And I said some other words in the process. So, we're going to work on Supernatural. Um, I am almost, actually, I have two more rows to do. I'm doing this row, and then I'm going to be down here. So, I might just continue to work on this one because I'm frustrated with the simple fact of that. And it's over there. It's over there. Hanging up. So, anyway. We're going to get started. Y'all don't need to hear about my issues today. So, it's been a day. It's been a pretty... Last week was pretty good. Um, school ended on Friday. Yes, I'm drinking soda. School ended Friday. And, um... Of course, now, the bad, the other, th that was a good, you know, good thing with that. Well, the bad thing about it was, because I thought, you know, Sky will be kind of um, occupied playing video games and so forth. Well, <clears throat> Friday night, we went to bed. He, you know, I, he went to bed and I went to bed. And I was watching TV in my room. Turned it off. Well, the TV died. Now, the funny part about the whole thing is, I still have sound. But I have no picture whatsoever. Gone. Oh, you can hear. But you just can't see. So, I, you know... When Sky, little dude found out, he kind of, you know, got upset. So, we've been kind of trying to come up with a little routine or whatever um, where he can um, 
sit, you know, because we have PlayStation also. And the Xbox is in uh, Miranda's room so that he can play it. And so we've been trying to, you know, let him play the PlayStation out here on my 55-inch TV so that, you know, he doesn't feel like he's bugging his sister because he didn't want to bug his sister about um, constantly being in her room to play the Xbox. Now, he could have brought the Xbox out here. I wouldn't have cared. But um, he knows that I like to uh, cross-stitch and watch Netflix or whatever. Now, over the weekend, I have been trying to catch up on um, my reading and audiobooks. So, that has kind of um, become you know, the thing around here now, and he, um, you know, plays out here when I, you know, want to listen to a book or cross it, you know, whatever. And, uh, if I'm not particularly into wanting to, um, uh, um, you know, watch Netflix, he'll watch, he'll come out and, you know, if he wants to play, PlayStation, then I'll put a book in, or, yeah, turn on a book on my phone, and watch, listen to that for a while, and so forth, and I'm just, I'm trying, just, that's another thing that I'm glad that, um, you know, one of the advantages of my TV dying in there is, you know, he can come out here and play, and I can, um, you know, listen to a book or whatever, and, uh, <clears throat> because I'm trying to get back to, uh, into reading and so forth and all that good junk and, you know, yeah, so, but I'm going all off. I haven't even gone into this. This is the last video for the week. I'm sorry. I told you I'm on a tangent, guys. It's one of those days. It's like, oh my God. Um. This is going to be the last video for the week, uh, just because, you know, it's Christmas and so, excuse me, I was going, I did have a, uh, true crime corner video scheduled today, but I changed my mind. I'm going to wait until after, uh, Christmas and the new year to do, to start back up with the true crime and, um, the rest of the videos, floss tube and, you know, all that good junk. I will have my live next Monday. As for a whip and chat, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I haven't decided if I'm just going to, you know, make my live a whip and chat. I haven't, I haven't decided. So, either way, uh... There will be, you know, one or two videos next week. And the rest, you know, I will start back up on my schedule um, in the new year. So, you know, um, of course, I didn't plan ahead for this kind of stuff. I wasn't even thinking uh, when, um, when I set the schedule up and started, you know, getting myself back into... The routine of being consistent with videos again, I just wasn't thinking, and yeah, that was my dumbness. But anyway, so I hope everyone is, you know, having a great day, and I hope everyone's ready for Christmas. I am. Um, we are still waiting on a couple things that um, won't be coming until... I want to say, mm, I want to say, I know one present from a subscriber is coming Thursday or Friday. There is another one on the way. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it's come from, but there's one on the way. Um, 
And, um, good grief. I'm thinking, guys. I can't remember. Um, gosh. I can't remember. I really can't. I cannot remember. Um, Huh. I don't remember. But anyway. Oh, I do have one that, um, now I got a Christmas present early last night. And again, Mrs. Coffee, thank you. Um, she gave me a gift card and to Diamond Art Club. And I had every intention because she had, I, I was going to get a Chuck Pinson. Yes, I don't have a Chuck Pinson. I haven't had one. It always seems like every time I go to get one, um, it they're you know either sold out or uh, you know they're coming soon or whatever. And anyway, the one I wanted wasn't there, so I found another one, and it was a Christmas one, and I forget what it's called. I forget what the name of it's called off the top of my head. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and I can't check on my phone. Um, it's got Santa Claus in it. And it's got, and he's, you know, do, decorating a tree. I forget what it's called. So, anyway. Um, and, of course, I'm trying to lift this up a little bit. Whoops. I feel like I got this big black ball hole in my, but anyway, I'll fix it, guys. Uh, so, that's coming. I ordered it last night, so I don't know exactly when it's coming. I'm just waiting for it. It's, it said this morning it's been shipped, so it'll probably be here after Christmas. So, um, that's done, and, um, so we're just, you know, it's going to be a quiet, you know, Christmas, it always is around here, and, uh, because my parents, we don't celebrate, they don't really, uh, do much for Christmas anymore, they are usually traveling, but this year, I don't, I know they're not coming here, because my mother, as uh, you guys may remember, I said in a video, my mother had corona. And I didn't know she had it. And um, I we found out because uh, Thanksgiving, my mother makes a big, huge thing of mac and cheese. And she, you know, usually brings it to us. Well, Justin wanted to know when she was going to bring it. Well, my mother, you know, told her, told him that... Um, she couldn't because she had corona and covid and so she you know wasn't able to make it this year so now i know she's not, i know she's you know doesn't have it anymore but i she's not feeling the greatest still she's kind of you know basically resting until it's over and it's done with and whatever and, um, so I told her, I said, well, yeah, well, I didn't tell her, but, um, we've been kind of, she's supposed to help Justin. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. She's going to help Justin with a state ID so that, um, he can go and look for a job and, um, that can, you know, so he's, uh. He's going to wait until that because she's going to help him with that. And then, um, but she told him that, you know, she had to wait until after the holidays because she was still trying to get over all of that. So, you know, everybody's kind of doing their thing. Um, has, we kind of have been since the weekend. Um, last night, Skylar and I watched, um, 
The Christmas Chronicles. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that with uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. I really, really like the movie. I watched, I, we saw the first one last year. And the second one um, came out this year. Well, I was trying to find Christmas, you know, Christmas movie something on Netflix. And that came up along with White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Well, Sky didn't want to watch White Christmas. He doesn't like that one. Well, he doesn't like it, but he's never seen it. And I guess because, you know, it's an old movie. And it's, you know, old. <laughs> Which I can't say I blame him. But, um, he, uh, you know, I told him, I said, well, um, you know, we can watch Christmas Chronicles too if you want. And so that's what we did. It's pretty good. It's, it's, it's funny. And, um, he thought, you know, he really liked it. And then, um. Then he looked at me and he says, can I, you know, go do whatever? And I said, yeah, you can go. So he went and did his thing. And I um, started, I was going through Netflix. As you guys know, I like true crime. I like anything that has to do with, you know, that kind of stuff. And I was going through, there is a, it was a mini series. And it was called Waco. And it had to do with the Branch Davidians and David Koresh. Well, I had never seen the miniseries. I thought it was a documentary. It's not. It's a miniseries about what happened um, inside the compound. What happened, um, you know, with the FBI and all this kind of stuff and how the whole thing started, how they had a standoff for what, three, four months. And, um, so, uh, it was interesting. I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that, you know, one side was wrong and the other side wasn't or so forth, you know, vice versa. But it was very interesting to actually sit and, you know, try to look at it from I, I get it's from the negotiator the the FBI negotiator's point of view basically of what he knows and what had happened and what he had been told in the conversations I guess with that he had with um David Koresh and with the one of the second, I guess you could say second in command. Or I don't know what you want to call him. Anyway, and I, it was very interesting. I had never seen it. Now I had, no, I knew that it was coming out, and I knew that it was going to be on TV. But I never really like, you know, paid attention to it. So I started watching it last night and it was very interesting um, because, you know, some of the events, kind of what we know, you know, to happen from the news kind of didn't sync with what this said. It was kind of interesting. And I was just like, wow, you know, because... I don't know. Again, you know, I don't know what happened. I, again, I truly don't. Um, but from the way that the the TV show was, there were a lot of people at fault on both sides. And it just amazes me how, I guess things get turned around. I don't know how else to put it. And it was it was just it was interesting. I'm not saying, you know, I agree with what you know, what happened and how those things happened. You no, know, I don't I'm not saying he wasn't a bad person because I'm telling you the way the things that I heard him the things that the the guy what was the guy's name? Taylor Kitsch. I think that's what his name is. He was in Walkman, a Walkman. I mean X-Men. Um, 
one of the X-Men movies, and there was a couple other movies that I can remember him from. And I, I he played he played the part of David Koresh really, really well. Um, no, I'm not saying David Koresh was in the right either, but it, it was just interesting how down to earth this person was and it, it it was just it mystified me because all the things that i had even and i can't remember watching it and it was just like i can remember hearing about it on the news and seeing some of the um the footage and i was just like wow you know, it, 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 the things that happen that you see on the news and then you watch this, it, it kind of puts it all together in one big puzzle. And I, I was just, it was really, really interesting to like really, really, you know, um, you know, understand, I guess, what happened. And, um. Of course, I I got so fr into the show, into the se into the 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 mini series on Netflix that I didn't go to bed till two o'clock this morning. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it was like I, I just couldn't I just couldn't like turn it off because I wanted to see what happened next. And the one thing I didn't remember was um, how you know even David Koresh died. I didn't remember that. I did not remember it happening. I didn't remember, um, you know, the the way that the whole thing ended. It, um, I had no clue. I totally forgot that. Now, mind you, during all of that, I was, um, uh, I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. So, that was like, you know... 20 some years ago and or no 30 some years ago so it was like a really long time and I don't remember I really truly don't remember um the outcome of everything but it was kind of interesting to you know see and then um at the end of the whole thing they give you like updates on um what had happened and um you know kind of gave an update on um the whole thing so it was kind of it was an interesting uh thing sorry i didn't mean to go into a kind of true crime spiel sorry i wasn't i was talking about movies and christmas and uh Sorry, but yeah, that's what I watched last night. Um, today is just, you know, I'm hoping that after I uh, get done with this and finally get this darn thing recorded, that I can sit down and uh, relax, cross-stitch, um, maybe make another cup of coffee being that I spilled my coffee everywhere. I know, right? Why would I do that? Don't ask me. I wasn't trying to spill my coffee. I don't know what happened. It just, it just, it just happened. I wasn't expecting it to. It, it I, believe me, I was not a happy camper. But, um, anyway, so now we get on to the NORAD thing. We're getting back into the Christmas thing. So, like I said, you know, he's got NORAD up uh on the uh, you know up on the browser and i, I know what's going to happen because christmas eve he's going to come out he's going to like want me to pull it up and he's going to want to see it and it, it's believe me this child loves to track santa so that's going to be uh what happens next believe me um So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be interesting, but you know, he's nine or 10, so he's going to, he's going to, 
He's going to enjoy it. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I've, like I said, I've been trying to get back into reading because, um, and I think stitching, uh, we have, I think with my stitching challenges that I have that are reading and stitching, there are a couple that, um, you know, we can do, uh, for that. Um, I think that's going to help a lot. And, uh, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that it does. Because, um, yeah, it's, uh, <sighs> sorry, I need my extras. Uh, so, yeah, we're kind of hoping that is, um, I don't even know if I have any more of this color. Mm -hmm. Probably don't. Sorry, I'm trying to find this color, and I don't think I have it. Oh, well. So, let's see what else has been going on. Oh, my God. Um, oh, reading challenge. Like I said, I haven't been doing good with reading challenges this year. Uh, last year, in 2018, I exceeded my reading challenge on Goodreads. So, I'm kind of hoping that with these, uh, you know, challenges that we do in, with, in some of the cross-stitch groups that, you know, we have to do for reading and so forth, I hope that helps because um, I really, really like to read. I haven't picked up a really good book in, well, no. I haven't picked up a book in, like, j since July. I know what 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 the heck is wrong with me um some of you may know and remember uh i talked about this before i was doing a i had we had like a little reading uh chat on messenger with michelle melissa b craft with me and tia tia's uh crazy whatever tia tia yeah, you know who you are, Tia. And I hadn't really, um, you know, been reading the book. And we kind of just stopped talking about it. And, of course, you know, that's partly my fault, too. Because after I read a certain amount, you know, so far into the book, I kind of just, like, put it to the side. And I just didn't pick it up anymore. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, because I need to start, um, you know, training myself again to read before I go to bed or what the issue is. I don't know. Um, just been like, just haven't had the desire to read. And now I've, you know, recently got back into audiobooks. So I am you know, trying to get back into, you know, that with, um, when I'm stitching and it helps now that I have figured out how to, uh, basically keep track of how much I've read on my Kindle because I can't listen to a book on my Kindle. Go figure, right? My Kindle for some, the Kindle I have, it doesn't let me listen to it. I mean, I could probably do it with a Bluetooth, but I don't have a Bluetooth that's any good. I think I do, but I don't know. I, I have one somewhere. But anyway, and so it doesn't have a place for me to put, to plug um, headphones in. So I've been using my um, Audible app on my phone. And... For some reason, I can't figure out how to sync it with Goodreads from my app on my phone, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And 
So I was doing, I was in a stitch and bitch chat with a friend, you know, some stitching friends on um, Messenger. And they, you know, we were trying to figure that out. Well, one of the, um, one of the other ladies, her husband said that there, it's called Whisper. I guess it's a part, it's a feature that's on Kindle or somewhere. I don't know. I have to figure out where. If you guys know where it is and how to use it, please let me know because I can't find it on my Kindle. I have looked. Believe me. I have looked. Um, and I was going to use it. I was going to, you know, he said you could use it. Do that. It would, you know, somehow or another it f would sink. I don't know. Don't ask me. And I was going to do that. Well, I can't figure it out. So if you guys know where it is um, and how I use that, let me know because I'm trying to find it. And uh, <laughs> because I searched last night, I looked for it and I could not find it at all to save my butt. And um, because it would probably be so much easier for me, but I don't know if you can do it on your phone. Um, not sure. And if, you know, you, you, those of us that have, those of you that have Audible and those of you that know more about it, you know, please let me know. I'm still trying to figure out all the freaking uh, Kindle Audible crap. It's been so long since I had an Audible account. And um, so it's, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm trying to get, you know, get back into the routine so that I can, um, get, you know, sort of back into reading and, um, because when I do set up my challenges for next year, I want to be able to, you know, do a little better because I set up for a hundred books for this year and I've only read 13. So, you know, y'all can like, you know. Y'all can, like, say, what? Yeah, I haven't read that many. I have a couple that are in process, but I just haven't, you know, really picked them. Now, the one that I'm currently listening to now is called Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Now, this one I'm not really into as much. It just... Granted, Home Before Dark was the same way. It was slow. But I'm already in the seventh chapter. And I don't know. I'm just having... I, I don't know how to explain it. But it just... I, I don't know. I, I don't. I really don't. It's like, I, I don't know what to say. Because... It's not as good. It's not. It's not as good as Hump Before Dark. So I really don't know if I'm going to finish it. Um, it just. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. I mean, I kind of, you know, would be like. I would kind of. I kind of feel like I have to because, um, you know. I just. Yeah, it was one of the books I got with a, with one of my free credits. But it, then again, you know, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain. Because truthfully, I, I, I really, truly don't know. Um, so, um. But I do need to get back into reading all of my J.D. Robs. I have I started them a long time ago, and I've never finished. So I think that's what I'm going to plan to do. Um, starting, uh, you know, Christmas, you know, over the Christmas holiday, along with painting. I know I said I was going to paint my house, my apartment, and I and I haven't done that. No, no, you all can like say, really, what's going on with you? It's not that I don't want to. I have just not had any kind of motivation 
to get up and paint my apartment. I'm sorry. I just haven't really felt like it. So, yeah. I gotta get motivated. So, I think next week that when I don't have to really rush and, um, you know, be concerned about a holiday. Granted, you know, New Year's Eve is next week. But we really don't do anything on New Year's Eve. So, I'm just gonna, you know, plan to get that, um, started and probably start like in my bathroom because that you know is one of the first places that really needs to be painted um if you saw what my bathroom looks like right now you'd laugh because it's it's crazy so um but anyway so that's really all i you know I am going to do a, possibly do a, excuse me, an unboxing of Christmas presents probably at the end of the week. Mm, excuse me. Mm. Possibly Saturday. I don't know yet. I am waiting for um, Christmas present that I ordered last night from Mrs. Coffee. And, of course, I have the... When I that my daughter won't let me open, but um, other than that, guys, that's really you know we don't do a whole lot for Christmas. It's you know there's not a whole we don't there don't really I mean it's not I know you're probably thinking really no we don't um, it's always been like that because my parents don't really um, go anywhere they well they do but. They travel, and it's just, you know, me and the kids, really. So, that's basically, you know, it for us. And we just kind of stay here and do our thing. And they open their presents. And that's, you know, that's it. That's all that we do around here. So, um, but, yeah. So, guys, that's it. Um... I hope y'all like to set up better. Uh, if you don't, or if you do, please, not if you don't. If you do, please comment below. I'm going to try to fix, you know, the angle of this camera so that I'm kind of in the middle and not kind of like to the side or whatever. Because I feel like I'm off to the side. I'm looking at it now and I feel like, you know, this side of me is kind of... I feel like I'm lopsided. So until then, guys, I hope everyone has a great week and please have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you all next Monday. And until then, guys, Merry Christmas and have a great one. Stay safe. Stay inside. Social distance.